Do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way that you live. Remember, you have identified as one, he has identified you as one of his own, guaranteeing you that you will be saved on the day of redemption. So you want to get rid of all bitterness, all rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, and all types of evil behavior. This is from Ephesians 4, chapters 30 through 30, verses 30 through 31. Good morning and welcome to Transform Your Life in 15 Minutes. My name is Pia and I'm an author. I'm also an accounting professor and a certified life coach. I specialize in personal and small business finance and also fitness. I help people reach their goals. And this morning we are doing five minute exercises, one each for the mind, the body, and the soul. And good morning, Nisi. It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching. And today, guys, we're going to be continuing on our discussion on forgiveness. Okay, so yesterday I gave you a story about forgiveness. Today we're going to talk about three reasons why that you should forgive. Okay, so as a matter of fact, three reasons why you must forgive. Now, before I get started, two things I always like you to know. Number one is this. This is going to be a little short lesson. It's going to take you maybe five minutes um, to learn, but it's going to take you a lifetime to master. And number two, I want you to know that I'm not here to teach you anything. I'm just here to help you unlock what's already within inside of you. All right, so with that being said, forgiveness. Now, by forgiving someone, it's not meaning, it's not saying that it was okay what happened to you, okay? And it's also not saying that you should allow the person that wronged you to be welcomed back into your life, okay? That is not it at all. Basically, by forgiving, what we're saying is, or what you're saying is, you're saying that you are ready, that you've made peace with the pain and that you're ready to let it go, okay? That is it. You're making peace with the pain and you're ready to let it go. Now, not forgiving someone is like the equivalent of being in a jail cell of bitterness, serving time for someone else's crime. Do you want to do that? I'm sure not, right? So with that being said, let's talk about three reasons why you must forgive. <clears throat> Number one is because it's a gift to you. It's a gift to you. It's a gift for you to be at peace, it's a gift for you to be happy, a gift for you to be able to sleep at night because you're gonna get let go of all the anger and the pain and just the helplessness that you felt and that attachment that you hold on to that person because believe it or not, you are still attached to that person by holding on to all of that. So it's gonna give you an opportunity to be at peace. So it's a gift to yourself. All right, number two. The second reason why you wanna forgive is this, is because in order to forgive, you also will be forgiven. Okay, yes, you're gonna be forgiven. So keep in mind that we get what we give and we reap what we sow, right? And I'm pretty sure there's been times in the past, there will be times in the future where you've done something or you've wronged somebody and you want to be forgiven. Well, the more that you forgive some, um, someone else, the more that you will be forgiven as well. Okay, so forgive and you will be forgiven. Number three, the third and final reason why you must forgive is because it's going to protect your body and your, your mind and your spirit. Okay, when you hold on to all that bitterness and all that anger, it hurts your spirit. It really does. It affects the way that you think. It affects the, the decisions that you make. It affects the way that you interact with other people as well. It makes you, it makes you cynical. You know, it seriously does. You may not realize it, but it kind of makes you cynical to other people's actions and their motives. They may be doing something and because you're holding on to that guilt, that pain that happened in the past is coming out as being cynical. And this course can shut you off for a nourishing and healthy relationships. And you don't want to do that, right? So let's talk about review again, three reasons why you must forgive. Number one, okay, it's a gift to yourself, okay? Self-love is a gift of self-love to yourself. Number two, you want to forgive so that you can also be forgiven. And number three, by forgiving, it's gonna help you protect your mind and your spirit. Keep in mind, guys, that forgiveness is one of the most positive things that you can do. Seriously, one of the most positive. It's going to mark the beginning of a new chapter in your life and a way for you to celebrate. All right? So forgive and grow. It's time to let go. All right? So share this with someone that you know needs this message, okay? Because forgiveness is it's huge. And remember, it's not just about forgiving others. It's forgiving yourself as well, okay? So a lot of times when people think of forgiveness, they say, well, I don't really have, no, I, don't hold, I don't harbor any ill feelings to other people, but what about how, you know, how you are with yourself, okay? So forgiving, forgiveness is not just about for others, it's for yourself as well as in terms of forgiving. 
All right. So now let's go ahead and move on, move on, move over. Yeah, I guess we're moving over. I'm moving over to the next room. We'll move on to the next section. And this is where we're going to be doing a five minute yoga routine. And keep in mind for these next two sessions, I ask you to do something for me and that's for you to do it with me. So yoga and meditation is a practice, right? And again, so what that means is you can sit here and watch me. I mean, if you enjoy doing that, but you'll get more out of it by actually doing it with me. So I'm going to invite you to join me in this. I forgot to take off my glasses. Join me in this next um, section where we're going to be doing some yoga. And then next on, sorry, I'm like, there's really, there's suns out there. So I'm trying to get out of that light there. Oh, this is some great lighting, isn't it? All right. Anyway, so um, uh, what was I saying? So I'm inviting you to join me in this next two sessions because this is where we're going to do a practice. Just a little five minute, guys. It's Saturday morning. By the way, happy Saturday. So there shouldn't be any excuses of things that you just have to do. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm still in the bed because it's so cold and, and all of that. Well, get up and let's get yourself all nice and warmed and limber. And let's go internal, you know, see what's going on inside of you. Any pains, any stress, any um, strains, negativity that you're feeling inside of you. We just talked about letting go of forgiveness. You know, this is, it actually shows up in your body. All those heart, all those negativity things, all those bitterness, the, the anger, all of that is actually absorbed in your body, right? So that's why you're feeling like all that types of negativity and pains and, sh and stress. And, and by the way, oh my gosh, sorry. And then also too, keep in mind that that's where the formation of disease, your mind is dis at ease, okay? So again, by getting rid of this, you're actually doing a lot for your work, so for yourself and others. Good morning. I can't see the name, but someone just joined me. I can't tell because, again, I don't have my glasses. So unless I can see your picture, know who you are. But good morning. Thank you for, for joining on in. But in, anyway, so let's get rid of all that now. We just talked about forgiveness. Let's go inside and let's, you know, make a decision to let it go. And with this, uh, with the practice of yoga, this is putting action to it. Because it's one thing to make a decision to do something, but now it's going to require the action. So the next action that we're going to be doing is just a five-minute yoga routine, all right? So let's go ahead and get into the tabletop position. This is when you're going to be on your hands and knees. And while I'm talking and you're getting into that position, come on, roll yourself out of the bed. It's only going to be five minutes. It's still going to be nice and warm, so you can roll yourself back in it 10 minutes later after we do the meditation. Matter of fact, I'm not going to, matter of fact, don't try to do the meditation while you're in bed. Well, you just woke up, so you should be okay. But generally speaking, you don't want to meditate while you're in bed. And kind of let me explain to you why. Because what is your bed made for? Well, the other thing to sleep right so in other words when you go into that laying down position that's really your body is really saying okay it's time to rest and go to sleep you may be okay because you just woke up for those of you that just woke up so you may be okay of laying down in other words i'm just trying to get you get yourself out of the bed it's saturday morning i know you've been getting up um, five days this week monday through friday like oh i just want to sleep in well you're already awake so get up out of the bed join me on a mat or on the floor tabletop position Take three deep, huge eye breaths. Get yourself centered, grounded, and aligned. And then, of course, you want to set your intention for what you want to accomplish for this next five minutes. All right? So, I don't know why this happens. For some reason, every once in a while, I have my music already set. But for some reason, it may just, you know, I turn on my phone and, and it goes to, uh, it's gone. So, let me find it. Okay, I think I got it. All right, so meet me on the mat for the next five minutes. Alright, so again, your fingers and your toes are spread out nice and wide. Your palms are directly underneath your shoulders. Your knees are directly underneath your hips. Your head is in natural spine, uh, alignment with your spine, which, by the way, is in a neutral position. So you're not rounded and you're not arched. It's just a nice neutral position. Remember to get yourself centered, ground, and aligned. That's what it all starts with. And then don't forget to set your intention for what it is that you want to accomplish for this next five minutes. All right, once that's done, go ahead and draw your breath in. Take a nice, deep, huge, dry breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, once you drop your chin down to your chest, round through your spine and tuck your tailbone under. Press those shoulder blades down away from your ears. This is a cat position. And as we inhale, we're going to go through the cow. Head and chest comes forward. Belly button goes down toward the mat. Tailbone sits out toward the back of the room. And as you exhale, round through the spine, take it back up to the cat. Again, one of my favorite poses to do first thing in the morning. Limbers up the spine, 
warms up the core and it just generally overall feels good. Let's do that again. Head and chest comes forward as you inhale. And then this time as you exhale, we're going to curl those toes under. We're going to take it to downward facing dog. Half of the cross of box. Now go ahead and start peeling your legs. You're making sure that your hands in alignment with your biceps. You're pressing your chest towards your thighs and your knees. So as we're pedaling up our legs, we're loosening up those hamstrings. Lift those kneecaps to engage the muscles on the quadriceps that will give a little deeper stretch on those hamstrings. You want to relax your shoulders, press them down and away from your ears. Now keeping your palms flat, I want you to slowly walk your feet in toward your palms. If you need to, bend your knees so you may be all the way here. That is okay. But just get your feet as close as you can to your palms while keeping them flat on the mat. And then I want you to slowly round yourself up. Take it one vertebrae at a time, making sure that your hands are the last to rise. Now draw your shoulders up and down and away from your back, and we're coming to Tadasana, which is mountain pose. So in this position, your feet are together or slightly distance, um, slight distance apart. Your head is a natural extension of your spine, but you feel like there's a string from the crown of your head attached to the ceiling so that you're standing nice and tall, strong like a mountain. Your sternum is lifted, your chest is lifted. You're drawing your shoulders, pressing them back, squeeze against your shoulder blades. Fingertips are down toward the earth, and as we inhale, we're going to take the arms up overhead. And as we exhale, we're going to dive the body forward. Again, as we inhale, we're going to take it all the way up. And as we exhale, you're going to dive the body forward. Inhale, take it all the way up. This time, kind of arch back slightly for me. And as we exhale, we're going to swan dive your body all the way forward. Now, this time as you inhale, I want you to look up halfway. Flatten out the back. Tailbone sits out toward the back of the room. Gently stretching those hamstrings here. Press those shoulders away from the ears. As you exhale, you're going to flatten out your punch. You're going to step back right left into the plank. As you continue exhaling, you're going to release your knees and your chest and your chin. And you're going to bring your body forward to upper facing dog. Relax those shoulders. <clears throat> and then as you exhale, you're going to curl those toes under. You're going to take it to downward facing dog. Now the next breath, inhale, you're going to bring that right foot forward toward the fingertips. Press the left knee down toward, your, toward the mat. Uncurl the toes and then take it up to the low lunge. Now try to keep your head in alignment with your biceps. Open up your palms. Open up your chest. Bring in all the positive energy. Guys, relax the shoulders. Remember, any strain or stress, then feel free to bring your palms at the heart center and modify. All right, go ahead and release it up. Take that right knee back or that right leg back. And then you're going to place your hands on the small of your back, lifting up your chest. Elbows go in and then lean back. Remember, use your breath. So as you inhale, just kind of hold your position. And as you exhale, you're going to release into the pose. And just go back as far as feel comfortable to you. This is a modification of the camel. Just feel the breath open up into the expansion. All right, go ahead and release. Now go ahead and swing your legs to the back. And we're going to extend that right leg out toward the right. Making sure that your left knee is directly underneath your shoulder. And as you inhale, we're going to take the arms up. And as you exhale, you're going to lean over toward the right. As the right hand slides down the leg, the left arm goes up and over. Feel a gentle stretch on that left side. Always remember to relax the shoulder away from your ears. If your glaze is up unless there's any strain or stress in your neck, then feel free to look forward or you can look down. All right, you inhale, take it up, and then release down. Another deep breath, inhaling. This time as you exhale, you're going to place that left arm on your hip, right arm goes up and over. Feel free to stay here or take the left fingertips down toward the mat. And relax both shoulders and again your glaze is looking up feel a nice long extension on this right side from the fingertips all the way down toward the toes making sure that you're breathing all right go ahead and inhale release it take that leg back 
Go ahead and place your palms down onto the mat. Take your body into the plank position as you inhale. And as you exhale, let's take the downward facing dog. Again, as you inhale, bring the body forward to plank. Flatten out the back, stabilize the core. And as you exhale, take the downward facing dog. One more time, as you inhale, bring the body to plank. And as you exhale, take it to downward facing dog. Remember, lift those knee caps, get a deeper stretch of those hamstrings. Now this time, we're going to bring the left foot forward toward the fingertips. The right knee comes down, uncurl the toe, and again, let's take it up to the low lunge. Now you're going to press your hips forward toward the mat. Make sure that front knee is directly over the ankle. You're opening up the chest, relax the shoulders. And again, you're just breathing in all that positive energy. And go ahead and release. Taking that left hand, that left leg back. Place the hand on the lower back. And as you exhale, release into the camel. Again, nice deep energized breath. Just feel your body opening up. And then go ahead and release. Swing those legs back. This time, you're going to take the left leg out toward the side. As we inhale, take the arms up. And on the exhale, release the left arm down toward the left leg. And you're leaning over toward the left. Relaxing the shoulders. Get a gentle stretch on that right side. Now you're taking your fingertips down toward your ankle. Be sure you're not resting your torso on the leg, okay? So just like you're sliding down. And again, as you inhale, you just kind of hold your position. As you exhale, you're released. Trying to get just a little deeper on that stretch. Keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. All right, inhale, release it up. And exhale it down. Oh, not yet. <laughs> inhale one more time. This time, we're going to take the right hand toward the hip. Left arm goes up and over. Feel free to stay here or take the right fingertips down toward the mat and extend it all the way over. Nice long extension from the fingertips all the way down to the toes. Again, relaxing the shoulder blades. Taking in the breath. Filling in all the extension. Gentle stretch on the side. Now go ahead and rotate your body over so that both palms are flat. Take both legs down to the plank as you inhale, and as you exhale, take the downward facing dog. Again, as you inhale, take it to the plank, and as you exhale, to downward facing dog. Again, inhale to plank, and then exhale to downward facing dog. <coughs> And then go ahead and relax your knees down toward the mat. And then bring your chest all the way down. Keep your palms directly underneath your shoulder. Draw your breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to take it up to the cobra. Relax your shoulders. Go out up as far as comfortable to you. And as you exhale, release it down. As we inhale, take it up again, this time looking slightly over that right shoulder. Remember, just go as far as comfortable to you. And then exhale, release it down. Inhale, take it up, this time looking over that left shoulder. And then exhale, release it down. Deep breath again. This time as you exhale, you're going to push your body all the way back to extended arm child's pose. Pressing those fingertips down into the mat, get a nice long extension from the fingertips of the shoulder blade, from the crown of your head all the way down to the tailbone. Now go ahead and press your palms down flat, uncurl your toes, and let's take it to downward facing dog. And then slowly walk your feet in toward your palms. Now this time we're going to hold here, we're going to take our fingertips and clasp the outer part of our elbows. And we're going to forward fold into Uttanasana. Now let the crown of your head bring your body weight naturally toward the floor. And again, as you're exhaling, just surrender into the pose. Now go ahead and release your fingertips down toward the mat. 
And again, slowly round yourself up. Take it one vertebrae at a time. Again, make sure that your head is relaxed through eyes. Now draw the breath in. And as you exhale, forward fold. You can not the palms go flat. Walk your feet out toward the edges of the mat. And as you exhale, release the tailbone down toward the mat. Use the triceps to push out those inner thighs. Bring the palms together at the heart center. And then bow your head down into Malasana. And go ahead and give yourself some gratitude. And then also extend the gratitude. Now release your palms down to the mat and take them behind you and then slowly start to transition yourself into a comfortable seated position facing forward. Making sure that you're on your sits bones and off the fleshy part of your body. Sit up nice and tall with your fingertips down toward the mat. As we inhale, we're going to take the arms up overhead. And as we exhale, release the fingertips down toward the mat. Again, nice deep breath. Inhale, fingertips go up toward the sky, relax the shoulders. And as we exhale, take them all the way down, back toward the earth. One more time, nice deep breath. Inhale, bringing in all that positive energy. We're going to clasp or bring our palms together at the very top. And then exhale, bring the palms down to the heart center. And namaste. I want to thank you for taking this time to practice this yoga session with me. And this brings us to the third and final exercise. And this is where we're going to be doing a two-minute meditation exercise. I'm going to explain to you what we're going to be doing, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, on this meditation, what you're going to be doing is, first off, we're going to start off with our deep Ujjayi breaths to get us centered, ground, and aligned. Sorry about this. The sun is coming in. And then all you're gonna do for the next two minutes is just breathe normally, okay? Just without any type of manipulation on your breath, just breathe the way that you normally would. But I want you to count the exhales, okay? So only the exhales, okay? And then at any time during your counting, if you get distracted by either outside noises or internal noises known as thoughts, then I want you to first acknowledge those distractions. And then secondly, you're gonna bring your attention back to your breath and you're going to start your counting again, but you're going to start all over with the count of one. So if you're breathing and you get up to count, let's say number four, and all of a sudden you remember there's something that you have to do, acknowledge what it is that you have to do, then bring your attention back to your breath, count that next exhale, and you're going to start all over with the count of one. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you're in a nice, comfortable seated position, or if you're lying down, if you're sitting in the chair, make sure your shoes are off, that your feet are grounded to the floor. Go ahead and take a nice deep, three nice deep Ujjayi breaths. Go ahead and inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Again, inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. One more time, nice deep breath, inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth and close your eyes. And begin your counting.
Just relax, return refreshed and calm. You've done something good for yourself today. I want to thank you for taking the time to do this meditation with me. And again, guys, I ask you to do this at least one other time. Do this meditation at least twice a day, um, every day, and you're going to see tremendous changes in your life. Again, this is a, just a two-minute exercise. You can do this at any time, at any place, except for driving, okay? But do this two-minute meditation, and I promise you, you'll see tremendous changes in your life. Again, I want to thank you for also taking the time to watch this Transform Yourself in 15 Minutes. Your word for today is vivacious. I want you to go out and have a vivacious day on Saturday. And I will see you Monday, but at 7 a.m. because I'm subbing the cycle class. So I'm going to see you Monday at 7 a.m. Goodbye.